What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Just Chris. And today, we're going to be reacting to How Not to Simp Compilation, all right? Shout out to my brother, Eriko TV. Hopefully, I pronounced your name right, my brother. But welcome to the masculinity gang, all right? You're welcome with open arms, all right? Shake my hand, all right? Let's get it. Now, before we get into the video, fellas, make sure you got yourself some water. As you can tell, I've been sipping, all right? Not only so you can stay hydrated during my videos, but so you can take your daily RP. And fellas, make sure you got your masculinity badge equipped. I don't know how many times I gotta tell y'all, y'all should have your masculinity badge equipped as soon as you see the notification for my video pop up in your phone or on your computer or whatever device you're watching, all right? Let's go ahead and get into the video. Incoming call from Deep Throat Queen. <laughs> You'll have feelings for you. Can't you look the other way? Just this once. Mm. You played me for a sucker, Penny. I'm not going out like that. Not for you. Not anymore. Be at HQ first thing in the morning. Don't make me come get you. And one last thing, baby. That chicken was dry. <laughs> hey, fellas, this is my favorite clip. I remember when I seen this on Twitter about three years ago. Fellas, my boy was not falling for that trick. Listen, fellas, she already tried to manipulate him. Look, look, look. Peep this. Peep this, fellas. Peep this. Peep this right here. Peep it. Peep it. All right. So now I'm saying they talking and everything. Well, watch what she does. She tried crying, okay? She tried to do them crocodile tears. And as you can see, she was expecting a different outcome by her face. She was expecting him to like go in, maybe hug her, maybe kiss her on the cheek, kiss her on the lips. But my boy said this, yeah, he curved her because he said he wasn't going for it. She treated him wrong once. He saw the flat, he saw the red flag. He said, you know what? I ain't going for it no more because I know my value as a black man or as a man of any type of race, doesn't matter. He saw his value, he said, you know what? Nah, we gotta keep it simply business and I'm not falling for it no more. And that's what he did and I respect that, bro. He was not about to simp, okay? You played me for a sucker, Penny. I'm not going out like that. Not for you, not anymore. Be at HQ first thing in the morning. Don't make me come get you. Shout out to Fillmore. And one last thing, baby. That chicken was dry. Damn. Real dry. Real dry. Hoses and Gucci bags and shit. So I'm like, oh, okay. I got that. And still didn't give him no pussy. Facts, right around. But I ain't gonna lie, I wanted to so bad. Because it was so, so like sweet. I, I, I hate repeating myself, but I want pressure about no pussy. It was so sweet. Mm. He got me some roses I was, and stuff. I, I never been pressed by no push. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Never pressed. Wait, well, yeah. You were, you were. You were. Never be pressed, bro. Did you fucking have sex with her? Did you have sex with her? What the message is saying? Yes, you did. Well, there's an answer, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> You know why this is funny? Do y'all do do want to know why this is funny, chat? And for the people that are watching? Because girls like this, they already know the answer. They already know that their boyfriend's cheating on them, right? But then they will go, they they, they were like, oh, I, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. And they will ask ask him dumb questions. When they see the evidence, they'll ask their friends, they'll ask their family members, they'll ask their boyfriend when the answer's right in their front of their face. And so, you know what you know what he decided to do? He said, you know what? I did. I did cheat on you. And guess what? She's going to cry now. But I guarantee you, she's going to come back. You know why? It's because she's not smart. It's because she likes that toxic masculinity. Everything that these females complain about. They like. They like toxic masculinity, fellas. I'm not telling you, you, you go, to go cheat on your girl. But they like that toxic stuff. And these be the same girls. They're like, where the other good men go? Where the other good men go? Well, instead of getting with the good man, you get with the toxic man. You get with the man that doesn't care about you. And then 20 years down later, when he hit the wall, you want to, oh, where are the good men at? You rejected them and decided to be with the toxic 
out for them. That's what you decided. Know what I'm saying? We can't make this up. We didn't we didn't force you to, to be in a relationship with a guy that was cheating on you that didn't care about you. We didn't force you to do that. So you know what? Guys are good guys are going bad. Because they see there's no there's no benefit of being a good man anymore. There's no benefit of being a nice uh, a chivalrous man anymore. This is not. They want that toxicity. So if you want toxicity, I'm gonna give it to you. Simple as that. <laughs> That's why the fuck you want it. Look, I don't know who need to hear this, but you ain't cash at that girl all fucking week, King. Huh? You ain't sending no money. You ain't zella. You ain't paying no bills, no car, no no rent, no nothing. Do not text her to ask her to go to dinner, to come to the club, to link up or to pull up. It's over for you. Try again next week. Okay, oh, that's Jackson. my girl, my wife, the mother of my children, my daughter, a woman who asked me for a favor. You mean to tell me y'all niggas out here just giving women money just because she's a woman? Just because you- Yes, that's what simps do. Simps will give a woman money just because she's a woman. Just because she has different genes. Yes, 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 that's what simps do. And she deserves all the money in the world just because she's a woman. Even though that woman does not bring any value or bring anything to that table to that man and does not help that man in any sort of way. All she is is just a walking peace leaf. But these men will do anything. They will simp for it. They will kill for it. They will lie for it. They will manipulate for it. Yes. Yes. That is the modern day simp for you. The demonic simp want to date y'all sucker ass simp pandering niggas need to just admit y'all niggas pay for pussy y'all niggas are jones and y'all fucking the game up because y'all making women think this is how men are supposed to operate no that's mm -hmm. how suckers operate if a woman asks you for something and you want to help out then you help out you ain't obligated to do a motherfucking thing for a woman and Facts. that means you broke that means you smart mm -hmm. a lot of punk ass niggas go broke giving their money away to women or sometimes the nigga just want to pay for some pussy but don't let niggas like this make y'all think that this how it's supposed to go. Just because you want to date or you want to hang out with a woman and check in and see how she doing, you got to give her some money. Fuck with this light-skinned nigga talking about, man. Get the fuck out of here, bro. You're supposed to give her money. Wow. One's in the chat if you know what he's doing. A thuckabus succubus spirit at best, fellas. This right here, the redhead. Listen, any woman that dyes your hair red or any other color other than a natural color, those are tendencies. Those are signs of a thuckabus, a thuckabus, sorry, succubus spirit. You need to stay away from this woman at all times. This woman is only supposed to be used for occasional use. For recreational use, as Jap would once say, okay? You do not commit to these. You do not marry these women. You dang sure don't marry in this society anyway. You, you, but you definitely don't want to commit to this. This woman right here will ruin your life. This is the type of woman that worships Megan Thee Stallion and Cardi B and supports the WAP movement. But where? Proud of this dude for staying strong. There you go, my brother. Yes, sir. 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If y'all didn't see that, let's rewind it. Let's rewind this strong brother, this masculine brother, staying in his masculine frame, not going for the BS. Let's, let's watch it again. Nah, nah, shorty, nah, nah, I ain't really feeling you like that. Listen, you shouldn't be kissing these hoes in the mop anyway, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Look at her, look at her. Look at her, look at her. Look at her, chat. Look at her. Listen, chat. And for the people that are watching, women are not used to being rejected. So when you reject them, guess what they do? They chase you. They chase for your validation and they taste for your attention. And as soon as they give it to them, they're done. They're done with you. Next, on to the next man. But you see, this man was not going for it. I don't know what happened. Maybe she might have manipulated him. Maybe she might have lied to him and she was trying to kiss him and make him feel better. But she said, you know what? He said, you know what? My value is, is too strong for that. I'm, I'm too much of a man to be dealing with this woman right here. I can go find another woman that's going to be more submissive and that's going, to buy, that's going to follow my lead instead of having this woman manipulate me, put me through all these hula hoops and, and hoops and stuff just to get just to get a relationship or some peace. So, you know, what? Uh, nah, I'm done. And this is what a lot of men are starting to do. Men are waking up to the truth. And I love to see it. Shoot your shot with me. Fly me out. Do not shoot your shot in my inbox. You think I look cute in New York? Hey, look. Ain't nobody trying to fly you out anyway looking like these. Ain't nobody trying to fly you out looking like these, okay? I'm not flying you out. Hopefully none of these simps is flying you out. Why should I fly you out? You bring nothing to the table. Just a walk in. Peace sleep. That's it. You think I look cute in New York? Hey, look, I'll try to say this in the most respectful manner. <clears throat> um, Without TikTok deleting my video. Now, you see this girl in the video, right? And this is a part of the delusion of women, right? You know what? I blame Instagram and I blame social media, right? Guys. Because... They see these beautiful girls that are nines and tens, right? Or even if they're eights or sevens, they have the body to make up for it. So you see this girl right here, right? She's getting caught up in a delusion. And I blame social media. Why? Because even though that girl may be a four in looks, a solid four, I would never give her more than a five. Uh, there are probably guys that would have sex with anything in the world. There are guys that would have sex with a cow, right? So then you see a girl like that and she probably has her DMs probably filled up to the T with desperate needy simps, right? And then she's looking at these beautiful girls, the nines and tens on Instagram and getting confused and thinking that's her. And it's like the audacity you to even talk like that. The world of simping. Hey, yo, hey, <laughs> shout out to my boy Eriko at TV, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. This was something a little bit different, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to, I'm trying to, you know, lighten the mood on the channel, you know what I'm saying? Have you guys laugh, you know what I'm saying? Not every video is gonna be serious, you know what I'm saying? Hey, shout out to everybody. Shout out to the master in the game. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. You know what I'm saying? Share the video with a simp. Save his life. Thank you guys so much. We're on the road to 10K. Hopefully, we can end it by, hit it by the end of this year. If not, at all, it's, it's all good, fellas. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate everybody that supports, everybody that comes to the live streams, everybody that super chat, everybody that donates. I love you guys. You know what I'm saying? It's been your boy, Just Chris, and I'm out this bitch. Peace.